My name is TJ Mitchell. I am part of the marketing team here at uh, Bahrain Polytechnic, supporting the development of marketing professionals for the future. Uh, you can say the role is partly being a guardian of sorts, but the reality is to set the pace in comprehending what's happening in the real world space and bringing it into the classroom where we're able to debate, think, analyze, and, uh, and come up with ideal solutions that work in the marketing space for the generation of the future, because the future is now here. The concept of marketing in terms of advertising is no longer the case. We need to start looking at the implications of data monitoring, um, analyzing, and bringing that into a, into a succinct conclusion whereby it addresses the people issues, the process issues, the product issues in order to achieve the last P, profitability. The marketing major is probably one of the most, uh, I'd like to say, it's wide in every aspects in the sense you need to think, you need to exercise um, uh, due diligence in, in understanding concepts, in framing theories, in applying those theories into the fundamentals of what's happening. You use that to shape market intelligence, to understand the intricacies of what's happening in the marketplace. So why would you not want to do that? The product, understanding products, understanding how the, rela the relationship between the company offering a service or a product and the market, the understanding the gaps in the marketplace and how they fit within the concept of a reasonably profitable company. It's key. And again, it's back to the fundamentals or rather the basics of the processes, the people, the product in question, and attaining profitability. Every business problem from a marketeer's perspective has always got three sides to the story. There's a customer's view, there's a company's view, but there's also you, the marketing manager's perspective on things. It's bridging that storyline. I don't see, I don't foresee challenges. I mean, if you're allergic to working hard, then it's probably not the course for you. If you are allergic to thinking, it's probably not the course for you. However, let's focus on the positives. If you are, if you have the right aptitude, you have an, uh, the right attitude, and you support that with a sense of desire to improve your abilities, then the marketing course is really for you because uh, I'm an advocate of the future is here. We no longer do marketing in the way it's always been done, where it's all about advertising and the creative dimension to it. It's beyond that. Today we're looking at, we're looking at a world of artificial intelligence. How do you market to machines when we have the internet of things out there? How do you get your product to the front line when you have so many discussions in multiple places taking place in parallel? The, um, the impact of social media onto choices that consumers have takes the concept out of the hands of the companies themselves. So companies have to understand what is the market talking about? How do we manage that? How do we build the data to manage that? How do we analyze that data? Do we get anything meaningful out of it? But above and beyond all of that, can we apply anything from what we've learned? There's never a right way to do one thing. Um, I heard a phrase earlier this afternoon that says, I, um, I've learned a thousand and one ways of how not to create a light bulb. But we're not trying to make those kind of mistakes. What we're trying to do here is put the students in, in, in real life scenarios from day one 
literally from the first day, they are solving problems, real problems by businesses that exist in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the wider golfers is. This is not a case of saying if you were Apple, no. You want to know if you're a local business right around the corner. What are the problems they're facing? Those problems, are they unique to that company or how can we adapt it in such a way that we can solve it within the context of the market that they serve or the target audience that they're focused on? Uh, but will, they, will those present challenges? It certainly does. It certainly makes them familiar with the real world challenges because going through the problem solving phase and then going on to industry project, the students are ready associate consultants by the time they graduate. They, they, have, a, uh, they have a voice, they are articulate, they are problem solving focused um, and they don't shy away from the issues in terms of contextualizing, comprehending and presenting the issues through a structured way of understanding where the problems are, whatever methodologies are deployed. It's an innate ability for any marketeer going, to the, going into the future. Um, so I think they're more than ready, having done in excess of 120 hours solving one problem. Whatever choices we make from a career point of view, for some students it's going to be, it's what's there. For some students it's going to be a calculated decision. For some student it's going to be an opportunistic uh, choice. So the, the so getting to a job has a multiple of uh, approaches to it. But being effective and efficient in performing a marketing manager's role will be second nature to them because by the time they've gone through the digital components that we offer here, the market research, the market planning, and also the marketing management element. The students are more than ready because they've, they've seen the universe of, of issues related to marketing. And it's not one that's restricted to this is how we do it here. In fact, we encourage and engage the students to think, I don't want to use the phrase out of the box, but think of alternative ways of accomplishing the same solution without uh, without having to increase the, uh, the resource requirements or timeline requirements or, or skills requirements needed to achieve that. There's a phrase that comes to mind. It says, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. Because of the emphasis we place on, on readiness, on anticipating, on problem solving, I would encourage every marketing graduate of the business school to be that one-eyed man, to have that greater insight, to put themselves forward and face the fears. Because in the absence of not doing anything or waiting for the right moment, the opportunities will miss them by. So, I would encourage I would encourage you graduates to literally go out there and do the best they can but doing it from an informed position giving it their the best that they've got in them and not have to care much about what what could go wrong what can we do right is where the focus needs to be. Oh, it's the place to be. Um, I don't think one needs to give them any advice. It's, it's, students are going to make choices, but if you want to have a learning experience that's, that's different, that's detailed, that's challenging, but have fun doing it, understanding where your weaknesses are, where your strengths are, understanding 
what you're capable of doing, stretching your limits and challenging your thoughts, then you really want to be in marketing because it's the only subject area that's business focused, results oriented, uh, in many ways requires a degree of intelligence, but we also know there's a new stream where you have to be technically capable, technically capable at running analysis, technically capable at um, building your own sort of SEO search engine optimization analysis of understanding what works in the universe that's going digital. It's exciting. It's, it's well-rounded. It's about making a difference whether you're going on the, on the corporate social responsibility field or you're going on the pure product sales field. It's, it's got everything in it. Looking for economics, it's in marketing. You're looking for psychology, it's in consumer behavior within marketing. You're looking for uh, business analysis, it's in marketing in terms of KPI and running, all, and running deliverables. So it's probably the most exciting field that's largely been brought to the forefront because of technology today. So I think, uh, I don't think it needs to be sold. You just, the students just need to understand what's exciting and marketing is.